Hello everyone, my name is Ebolon and welcome to another video. In today's video we have Caravan Sandwich. In a world where post-apocalyptic games are often grim and filled with constant danger, Caravan Sandwich offers a breath of fresh air. Imagine exploring a serene yet desolate planet with no enemies to fight, no life-threatening challenges, just you, your van and a beautifully crafted world waiting to be uncovered. Caravan Sandwich invites you to into a gentle post-apocalypse where exploration and helping out your community are the central themes. No violence, no death, just a world that feels lived in and ready to be rediscovered. World and Setting Set on the planet Sigalo, Caravan Sandwich introduces you to the world that's visually stunning. From sun-kissed deserts to Mediterranean-style cliffs and towns, the landscape is as much a character in a game as any of the NPCs you meet. Every corner of this world feels like it has a story, whether it's a quaint little home tucked away in a canyon vault or a eerie abandoned remnants of a robot civilization. The developers did an amazing job designing Sigalo to encourage slow exploration. You'll stumble upon a small detail, like a blanket someone left out for you to sit on and admire the view, or a radio tucked away by the shore, playing calming music as the sun sets. It's a these little moments that make the world feel alive, despite its abandoned post-apocalyptic state. Story and Quests the story revolves around Sark, a former space station worker returning to her home planet after receiving a distress call from her sister, who has been missing for years. The overarching narrative may seem straightforward, find your sister, but it's anything but rushed. This is a game that's all about taking your time, letting the story unfold at a leisurely pace. Most of your time will be spent helping the various inhabitants of Sigalo, including the original Frog, like species that call the planet home, and the few remaining robots with human-like intelligence. The quests themselves are simple, gathering items, repairing machines, or retrieving lost objects. But what makes them special is how they tie into greater story. As you see the locals, you'll uncover bits of lore and mystery. Why did the population abandon the planet? What's the story behind the massive storm that looms over the horizon? Each quest reveals a small piece of puzzle, keeping you invested in not just Sog's journey, but the history of Sigalu itself, exploration and gameplay. Now let's talk about the real star of the game, Sog's van. This trusty yellow vehicle is your primary mode of transport and I absolutely love it. It's rugged, compact and feels like the perfect companion for its journey. The van isn't just for getting from point A to point B, it's packed with useful gadgets that you unlock as the game progress. From scanners that help you find hidden objects, to grappling hooks that allow you to pull doors open, your van is more than just a vehicle. It's a toolkit for solving environmental puzzles, and while the puzzles themselves are fairly light, they're satisfying in their simplicity. There's no pressure to rush through the game, it's all about enjoying the experience. And don't worry about taking risks with your van, there's no fall damage. Whether you're climbing mountains or accidentally driving off cliffs, Caravan Sandwich takes the stress out of exploration. The game lets you roam freely without punishing you for curiosity. And I found that incredibly refreshing. Progression and Gadgets Progress in Caravan Sandwich is tied to unlocking new gadgets for your van. You'll use these tools to reach previously inaccessible areas of Metrovania style. For instance, one gadget allows you to zip across gaps using lines strung across the environment, while another lets you pull apart structures that block your path. While backtracking is part of experience, the vault of Sigalo is small enough that it never feels tedious. In fact, returning to old areas with new tools often reveals more secrets and hidden stories, giving you a reason to explore every nook and cranny. Visuals and Atmosphere Visually, Caravan Sandwich is absolutely stunning. The game's cel-shaded art styles gives it a warm, almost storybook-like feel. 
The color palette filled with soft yellows, pinks, and blues making Sigalo feel like a place you want to visit. Despite the desolate setting, every time I boot up the game, I felt like I was stepping into a peaceful dream world. The atmosphere is equally captivating. Whether you're walking through a dusty village or sitting by a shore with the sound of waves in the background, Caravan Sandwich nails the feelings of solitude without loneliness. It's a game that encourages you to slow down and take in the world around you. Minor criticism. Of course, the game isn't without its flaws. While the quests tie into a main story, they can feel a bit repetitive over time. Fetching items and fixing machines is fun at first, but after a while, I found myself wanting a bit more variety in the tasks. Additionally, the game does have some minor technical issues, particularly with the camera. It can be a bit wonky, especially when navigating tight spaces or attracting with certain objects. It's nothing game breaking, but it's something to be aware of. In the end, Caravan Sandwich is a delightful, relaxing adventure that offers something truly unique. It's a game that invites you to slow down, taking the beauty of a vault and enjoy the simple pleasure of exploration that while it's not perfect, it's charm, beautiful work, and laid-back gameplay make it a must-play for anyone looking for a break from usual intensity of modern games. Caravan Sandwich is out now for PS5, Switch and PC if you are in a mood for a peaceful road trip through a post-apocalyptic world, give it a try. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more game reviews like this. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite cozy game. I love to hear your recommendations. Until the next video, my name is Ebolon. Peace.